everyone, welcome back. It's time for the next part of today's project. Let's get started. My name is Cassie and you're watching The Victorian Thimble. Welcome to part three of the project. Today we're focusing on cutting out the grey dress that goes under the brocade jacket. We are focusing on cutting out the fabric, interfacing and lining for the grey dress that goes under the jacket. Key points of this dress are that it's soft grey, a silk type fabric with a scoop neckline and lands above the knee. There's no actual picture of the dress, so I chose a design that was as close to this as possible. Let's get started. Now it is time to lay out the pattern. So we're laying out the pattern for this. The pattern has some basic uh, layouts shown here, but my fabric is 54 inches wide. I don't think it's actually 60 inches, so I've had to do our own thing here. But I will just show you, look how much extra fabric is propped up that I bought because I know I wanted to make piping for the jacket too, so I like on purpose just sort of rounded up and bought uh, about three meters worth or three and one third yards to account, you know, account for the difference. But basically, I have three meters of 54 inch wide fabric. And now it's time to get ready to cut out the actual dress. There's a few steps we have to do before we can do this. As you can see, the pattern pieces are not yet fastened to the fabric or anything like that. And what I'm doing here is I'm cutting into the pattern grading. This pattern goes up to a size 14. I need the sewing size number 12. Now, you could just cut this off to the size that you want and need for yourself, but just think about this, guys. Patterns are expensive, and even when you get them on sale, they still tend to hold their original value to some extent, especially if it's a pattern that becomes in demand. So. I tend to want to preserve all the pattern piece sizes available in the pattern. So I simply work around the grading by simply snipping little slits and folding the excess pattern pieces out of the way so that it's exactly to the size that I want. So you're going to need to continue in this way around all the pieces until all the pieces are folded back to the size that you need to make the pattern. And just a word about the channel, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. And of course, please like, comment, and subscribe below. And if you turn on that notification button, you'll know when each part of this series is uploaded and ready to watch. Thanks again, guys, for watching this project together. So now finally, I just have to tell you, you're going to finish um, marking this all the way out. And then it's going to be time to press the pattern pieces flat. And now it's time for a step that some of you might think is a little excessive, but it is something I like to do. I do iron my pattern pieces if the fold lines seem deep. So guys, I don't necessarily do this every time, but as you can see, some of these fold lines are pretty crisp on the pattern pieces. And I just think it will make a difference of exactly how that lays on the fabric when you're laying out your garment. So I just take a few minutes to gently press the pattern pieces, use a dry iron on a very cool setting, like number one or two on your iron. If it's a number style, no steam, dry iron heat only. Just take your time and go slow. You will notice as you pick up the pattern pieces, there's some static cling, but honestly, it's okay. Just gently slide the pattern piece away and you'll have a nice pressed pattern piece to work with. Continue in this manner until all your pattern pieces are pressed. And now it's time to get busy. Our pattern pieces are prepared for work. Just this one final step. I'm using a pattern notcher to go snip out the match points on each of the pattern pieces. This just makes it easier to mark the match points on the fabric when we cut it out. Next, you can see I'm pinning the pieces down into place. It is a very lightweight fabric. I don't want it to shift. Definitely using pins to hold this into place. Um, and then I'm marking, uh, like I'm measuring from the straight grain line on the pattern piece to the selvage edge of the fabric so that I can ensure my pieces are laid completely straight. 
Then you can see what I did do here is using a tailor's chalk, I marked all the way around these pattern pieces because I was going to take the pattern piece off to try and get like the most tight and accurate cutting possible. And I just started to feel like that um, this fabric was gonna shift on me if I took the pattern pieces off. I think even the pattern piece added a little bit of weight for cutting out. So guys, I went so long and slow on this. I fussed so much, but I've got to say, um, they're, they're new scissors and it is one of the best cutting jobs I've ever done. And here's all the pattern pieces cut out of the main fabric that is on the outside of the dress. I'll just show you, everything is cut out as close and exact as possible. You can see the fabric underneath. Okay, next we cut out the lining and the interfacing and then we're ready to start sewing. Next you're going to lay out your interfacing pieces and cut them out. My interfacing is on a roll but I have a cut off section you can see I'm trying to get through here. So I'm just going to cut out a few pieces individually. Let's do that next. And there's my handsome hubby came home from work. I did take a minute to say hello to him in these video shots as well. But then as uh, you can see, I did continue on to cut out all the pieces with the interfacing, trying to utilize my uh, fusible facing as economically as possible, of course. And I just want to show you, these are the scissors I've been using. This is LDH's Love, Dedication and Happiness. It's a Toronto-based company. They do produce the scissors overseas, but they are a Toronto-based company. They operate out of Canada. And guys, the quality of these things is amazing. Maybe one day I'll be sponsored, but for now I'm just telling you, this was part of my birthday gift and these scissors are so nice. And here is all the lining pieces cut out. You can see here, it's a nice soft, silky lining. All the other pieces of the dress and interfacing are cut out there. So you can see everyone, we have now cut out all of the pattern. It's time to start sewing. That's it for today, everyone. I'll see you next time with your needle and thread at the Victorian Thimble. Bye.